Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to episode three of the Matt and Matt O Scale Train podcast. I am one of your hosts, Matt Rochford, and with me is Matt Suzuha, your other host. Matt, how you doing today? Oh, pretty good. How about you? All right. Well, you know what? Today we're gonna cover something that you and I both discussed in the past, and that's basically um, how do people get started with Ogage? Yeah, I think it'll be really quite an interesting topic we got going on today. I think this is an important topic, especially now um, when it, I feel it is a little bit easier to get into um, O-Gage. Uh, there, there's a lot of moving parts, obviously, going on. But the products available uh, to you, I, I think, are a lot simpler to use uh, than before because there are literally, you know couple of wire clips and plug it into the wall and you're basically good to go so absolutely all right so i guess let's just kind of start out here i I guess the the one question people maybe would ask is that you know hey what what in the world is o gauge right so o gauge refers to tracks that are basically one and a quarter inches apart um and uh basically lionel uh, it, I imagine, I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing Lionel developed, uh, the three rails. I, I, you know, I, I don't want it just to turn into a history, uh, episode, but, um, you know, everyone knows those, you know, metal three rail tracks <laughs> that have been around for, uh, you know, hundred plus years. And, uh, you know, if, if, if we were to ask, uh, somebody like, you know, Hey, you know, uh, do you know what this is? I bet you most people would be like, oh, yeah, that's one of those Lionel tracks. So um, so I guess today we're going to cover does someone get started? You know, uh, you know, so somebody came up to me and said, hey, look, you know, I don't know too much about the hobby. Um, You know, I have a 10 year old son or daughter and we want to get into uh, O-Gage railroading. Um, You know, what what should I do? What should I look at? Who should I talk to? And I guess I'll, I'll start like my, my recommendation for folks is that if you do have a local hobby shop, please visit your local hobby shop. It's, I think it's a very important thing that um, obviously local hobby shops get uh, revenue uh, and they get the attention they deserve um, because these are the guys down the road that if you do have problems, you can bring your, your, you can bring your set in, you can bring your train in and they'll be more than willing to help you. Um, You can bring other sets in to get them repaired. So, um, you know, I do, I do buy a lot of online trains and train sets, but I also do buy from my local hobby shop too, because it's a convenience. uh, uh, It's a matter of convenience because they're there and they're available. Um, I'm, you know, I'm lucky. I live in Chicagoland. So I have like four, you know, hobby shops, like in every single direction, <laughs> uh, you know, not, you know, they're, you're, they're within, you know, I would say like 30 minutes, you know, 40 minute drive, but you know, but there are some that don't live in an area that either have a close, uh, hobby shop. So in those situations, nothing wrong with going on the web, uh, going to one of the big online dealers and looking for something, uh, to start out now, What should you be looking for? Well, my recommendation is to look for a Lionel Lion Chief set. Um, These usually consist of uh, some type of engine uh, with a, you know, whatever road name they put on there. And then it usually comes with either passenger cars, freight cars, some specialty cars, um, sometimes maybe some signage. Um, some of them come with figures. I know the, I know the uh, 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 Polar Express uh, has a set that did come with a couple of figures as well. Um, they all come with Fast Track, which is just super easy to to put together. Um, they come with a remote, and when I say remote, I mean a wireless remote with a throttle and some buttons on it, and it's just exceptionally easy to get started um you plug uh you have a special track that plugs into a transformer you plug that into the wall uh you put you put the train on the track well you should, you should put the train on the track before you plug it into the wall but yeah <laughs> uh, and then all of a sudden you hear this chirping sound 
um, out of the remote, um, or I'm sorry, out of the train, and you switch the remote on, and you are literally good to go at that point. You can turn the throttle, you can make the train go, you can push a button, and you'll hear uh, chatter, uh, you know, uh, tower comms, uh, announcements. There, you can um, you can uh, uh, operate the couplers with the remote. Um, this is basically the easiest uh, way to get into the hobby for somebody like just starting out. Now, prices will vary. Um, you know, I've seen Lion Chief. You can buy used Lion Chief sets too if you go on eBay. But, you know, Lion Chief sets usually range from brand new, uh, usually range from like 250 bucks, like all the way up to like, you know, the $400 level, uh, depending on the, the complexity and uh, the amount of uh, trains that they give you. Um, so that's th that's my initial thoughts. Well, what do you think, Matt? Well, I, I'm much on the same page. You know, definitely the uh, Lionel, the Lion Chief set. It's fantastic. I don't have any of the sets themselves, but I do have a separate sale Lion Chief set that you can buy. And I love it. It's fantastic. So I definitely would recommend that. The track is fantastic. That's what I use on my layout fast track. Great stuff. The Lion Chief command system the remote it's fantastic and plus these days all the new sets they all come with bluetooth so you can run it through the phone if you want that's actually a good point i actually didn't think about that is that you're right all of the new lion chief sets all are bluetooth so you don't even need the remote i mean mm -mm. a lot of kids nowadays like you know they have phones like my 10 year old daughter has an iphone right or maybe they have an ipad you know because they like to you know, that's where they have their little uh, games and their little entertainment and everything else. And, you know, they're used to using a device like that to push buttons and move stuff up and down. And the transition uh, for them to do that would be almost, you know, seamless here. You know, they're, you know, take a few minutes to kind of like understand like, oh, this button blows the horn. This is the bell. If I move this to the right, the throttle goes higher. If I move it to the left, it slows down. Okay, yeah, I get this now. So yeah, actually that that is a, that is a um a good point about the about the Bluetooth. Sure, and then like you know, for people like you and I, we, we like tactile buttons. You know, you got the remote that you can use. So whatever you want, you have a choice, which is really cool. Yeah. So so Matt, if I said okay, where um thank you for the recommendation. Um, the Lion Chief sets. Uh, I want to get one. Uh, how, how do I know what's out there? Like, well, you can go to uh, the Lionel uh, website and you can look at their catalogs. Usually towards the back of the book, they have their train sets that they have. So you can look at those. You can go to a um, hobby shop if you happen to have one. I don't, un unfortunately, anymore that does, you know, sets and stuff. But, you know, if you happen to have a hobby shop around you that does sets and can kind of get you going, you know, absolutely, by all means, talk to them or you know, hit any one of us up and we can always help you too. And, uh, you know, so there's plenty of different ways to get into this, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, another source would be uh, the O-Gage forums. Yep, I was going to um, say that too. So if you open up your web browser and you basically looking for the um, O-Gage railroading um, online forum. Now, OGR is what we call it, but they are also the editors of the um, the magazine as well. Mm -hmm. um, so if you are subscribed to uh, O Gauge Railroading, um, you can subscribe. You can uh, uh, I have a digital subscription. They put all the digital copies uh, on the web, so you can go back and and check them all out. Um, but yeah, that's another good resource. Now I've seen people come into the forum and say, "Hey, look, I'm brand new. Um, I know very little about the hobby." Uh, how can I get started? Or they just, they want to ask questions, right? There's nothing yeah. wrong with that. People want to ask questions. Look, um, what age limit should I, you know, should I start them out at? Um, uh, what kind of power am I going to be able to get? Um, how can I transition from uh, a new set into a more uh, experienced set, mm -hmm. right? And that's actually a, a very good resource. Also, um, you know, catalogs, you know, we all like to look at catalogs, oh, yeah. you know, um, there you, you, you go to your local hobby shop, or, um, if you, uh, if you want, you can order them online too. I know, I think, I believe you can order them from Lionel. Uh, if you uh, are a member of the L, uh, Lion, 
Lionel Collectors Club. Um, you uh, you get the catalog sent you for the year. Um, so, you know, oh, or you, you know what? Just go online and uh, go to one of the many online re- retailers out there. Um, mm-hmm. And just so just for instance, um, there is uh, uh, I so the the vendor, I'm sorry, the um, uh, the shops that I use online uh, primarily are Train World. Uh, and you can just you can Google all these things. You'll get to the page. So Train World, uh, Mr. Muffins Trains, uh, Ma- uh, Mario or Mario Trains, however you want to say it. Um, and I, heard um, both, so I don't know which one's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I think they're both right. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> Um, and, uh, I actually even like to order from the, uh, uh, the guys in uh, Pennsylvania, Nicholas Smith, mm-hmm. uh, trains. Uh, so ha- go to their website. They, they all have very good search abilities. You can just type in line chief set and you'll get all kinds of uh, stuff back. The, you know, a lot of these guys have clearance sections and you can find some very, very inexpensive, uh, sets, uh, online. Uh, you can check eBay. Uh, eBay has um, a lot of Lion Chief sets. I've seen some sets on there, like brand new, like just dirt cheap. I I remember they had that dinosaur set. Yeah. Um, I think I saw that for like seventy bucks at one point, like <laughs> okay. brand new from 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 an from a, a good eBayer too. This wasn't okay. like a you know zero star one sale eBayer. This was from a, somebody who had a hundred percent feedback. Um, yeah, oh, wow. I mean, people just, you know, I've seen, and I forgot what the counterpart, there was a pet, I think it was like a pet store one or something. And that was like super cheap too. I was very close to pulling the triggers on, on, <laughs> on that one just for my daughter, but I decided to, um, she's just not into it. So I decided to just kind of save it for something else. But, um, I'm actually th- now, I, you know, you and I are both experienced, uh, rail model railroaders. We have a lot of high end stuff. Um, but. Um, I would actually like to get um, a Lion Chief set myself um, just so when kids come over uh, or family members come over and they want to like, well, hey, can we can we run something, uh, you know, instead of hold, handing them my, you know, two hundred dollar remote. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I can hand them a Lion Chief remote and say, knock your socks off. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, or show them really, the app on the phone. Yeah, that too. You're right. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Um, was really looking at that polar express um one that has the uh the 115th anniversary or no i'm sorry the 15th anniversary polar express set with the the coating of the reflective uh bodies on uh, all of the um the engine and the passenger cars and the passenger cars have snow on top it's really really cool yeah isn't it yeah i I think it's really that or harry potter i haven't decided which one i'm going to go for but i kind of wanted a nice uh classic steam steamer uh lion chief set um how about you what do you what do you have any well for uh i don't have any of the lion chief sets but i have the um promontory summit uh special anniversary set that they made for the 150th anniversary of the uh transcontinental railroad they did the uh promontory summit set which includes the general steam locomotives i got you get two of them and you also get the universal remote which is what's cool about that you can take any one of these sets that we've been describing in this podcast here, and you can take that universal remote and you can actually control three different sets with that one remote. So it's almost like a mini command control, but I have that set and I love it. I haven't ran in a while, but I, I love it. It's beautiful. Is that, that's the one with the gold remote, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a really nice set, you know, for what it is, it's, you know, for me being experienced, you know, it's, it's nothing that really, you know, blows my doors off, but it's a, for what it is, it's a nice set, which, you know, that's another thing I think for us people that are into this, you have to kind of take a little bit of bias into it, but cause you know, we have all the high end stuff. We know what it's like and all that, but you know, for some people, you know, the, the, uh, introduction stuff, the ready to run sets, they're great. You know, I've yet to see one that I really don't like at all. You know, they're nice sets. And I believe um, all of the, if correct me if I'm wrong, Matt, but I believe all of the uh, Lion Chief starter sets all come with 036. As far as I know, yes. Yeah. So I, let, I let's don't talk, think of any that don't. Let's let's chat a little bit about like what 
that means and what you know how much room somebody needs to have available now um you know you just need your carpet you don't have to you know you don't have to build a table to run OGH nope. trains um the track is large it's heavy um it sits nice and flat the fast track click and lock together quite well um so the most common uh like we said is 036 now there is a smaller uh 031 and what this means is this is the radius uh of the tr the curve itself and um a lot of larger scale trains now almost all and i think all li uh, lion chief sets are all um semi standard or semi scale engines mm -hmm. so they're not too they're they are not the scale of o gauge o, o gauge um scale is um uh, 148. uh 148 yeah 148 so these are a little smaller so a they can be run on smaller curves um, like, you know, if you had uh, one of the brand new big boys, um, they're not going through 036 curves. They're not going through 048 curves. Not going that, through, well, they might go through 060. 060? Maybe, yeah. Maybe. But you're, yeah, but you're going to need 072 curves for that. Yeah. Now, what does that mean, that number? Well, the best, easiest way to think about it is if you have an 036 track, that means that the curve from, if you were to put, curves together um to form a half of a circle the the total length between the starting of each curve would be 36 inches okay so that's three feet so um you know you could put you could put straight tracks in it and run it you know farther down as well so you can so the other half circle is also 36 so if you were to put an 030 if you were to get 036 curves with your set and you wanted a table well your table is going to have to be a little bit bigger than three feet right because <laughs> i believe that i believe that measurement is from center rail to center rail yes yeah, center, center uh the whole yeah. thing i measure it once uh it's 40 inches the whole from roadbed okay. to roadbed okay so the edge of the roadbed on one side to the edge of the roadbed on the other side is is 40 inches for 036 mm -hmm. yep yep so you're gonna need you know uh, you know, a, a, a uh, unfortunately, a, a, a three foot uh, uh, width of the board is not going to do it for fast no. track. You're going to have to get at least a four foot board uh, to do that. Now, I run 048s on my on my uh, outside curves on mine, and I have five feet, uh, I believe. Or do I have six feet? I'm trying to remember. <laughs> no, uh, I I have uh, my width of mine. My my width of my track. Uh, is five feet long, um, which is just about makes just about makes it, I believe. So, and then I have a little, um, you know, my 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 table's weird. Like I have, I I don't have a complete, I don't have a full like actual perpendicular, uh, not perpendicular, like a uh, a square or, um, you know, anything that looks like it's even on each side. Like I have like little little areas that come out and stuff like that and i kind of have an l sh so mine is kind of an l shaped and then it like comes out in certain areas so it's it's um it's rather unique but it, it works for me because i like to put in little sightings and stuff like that but sure. um I'll, I'll digress here because i'm going into my layout but uh yeah so if you were to um like i said or like like we said um if you were to pick up a line chief set you're going to get 036 curves so if you did want to put it on a board um then you would need at least the the so the most popular size for people to buy right is like a four by eight right yeah four because by if you, i got two i got two of them on my layout so yeah yes so if you go you know you go to your local you know whatever menards or uh home depot or something like that they have four by eight now um i would recommend that you go at least three eights um i don't know what yours is three quarters uh, but, okay three quarters okay um Oh, did I say three eighths? I'm sorry. I'm in yeah. three quarters. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, that's kind of small three eighths. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, what, I'm, what I mean by that is um, make sure the board is three quarters inch thick because if you get, if the board is too thin, then you're going to be subject to a lot of warping in the board. And um, it's just, for me, the three quarters inch works absolutely perfect. I do not have any problems with the board being uneven or warping in any in any areas so um if you were if you did want to make a table out of it 
Um, again, four by eight, uh, uh, three quarters inch board. Um, you'll be more than that's more than enough room to put uh, O36, and you could probably have multiple loops of of O36 on that as well. I have um, two. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll leave it to you because obviously that's that's the exact board you have, right? So. Yeah, I have I have two, and then I also have a crossover in the back so I can move the trains from loop to loop. And with that, I believe I have 36 inch switches, so I think the gap on there is like six and six and three quarter inches between the tracks, something like that. I think now is like a very very good time to get into the hobby too because. If the new Lion Chief sets are just like, I mean, they are fantastic as far as like details go. I mean, yeah, these are not like legacy level engines, but um, they have Bluetooth. Um, they all have like these pre-recorded um, announcements that are like, like even based on the engine itself. Like, mm -hmm. you know, the Santa Fe sets, uh, the Santa Fe uh, uh, FT sets. I'll say like, you know, you know, all aboard the Santa Fe Super Chief. Um, you know, they mentioned the Santa Fe Super Chief. Um, the sounds are fantastic. I mean, these are not like your grandpa's, you know, uh, trains anymore. Um, they really, uh, Lionel really puts a lot of um, detail into these new sets. They are like, even when I, when I was buying, like when I bought my first uh, Lionel set, it was a Union Pacific one and it was um i think i bought it in 94 and 95 and it was uh you know it was your standard uh you know uh came with a uh you know a transformer with the, with a controller and um you know some good old uh you know three scale track um and uh you know i it, it's not even close to the, you know, the, the, how complicated and, and, uh, how things run nowadays where, you know, you turn it on and you push a button and you get all kinds of cool announcements and uh, there's all kinds of lights and like mine didn't even have sound. Like, you know, I, I mean, literally it could go forward go reverse. It had a front headlight and that was like it. Mm. It's really cool. Going back to the sounds real quick is, the sounds on these things are great. Like the uh, Strasburg set. I don't know if you've seen that one, but that's a fantastic. They even got the guy that does the, uh, as the you're riding the train. I did Strasburg one time, a long time ago. Um, they have the actual guy that does the announcements for the real train. He did the model recording too, for the announcements, which is really cool. That's pretty impressive. They got authentic <laughs> people. Yeah. That's man. That, that That's a lot more detailed than they do in the, <laughs> in the legacy sense yeah i know <laughs> it's crazy uh, i got thought about getting a new set and one of the new land chiefs set just so i could hear what specific crew talk sounds like again <laughs> I, know, I know yeah so yeah nowadays you, you have to buy um you know the uh vision line models to get any of the the road specific detail or you have to own a uh a line set from like pre like um i don't know when did they stop two 2012 or something like that 2011 something like that yeah i don't remember, remember. I don't remember. something yeah. like that oh maybe they'll bring it back they seem to be bringing back like uh, a lot of different things i i really hope that they um i don't know that would that's one of my feedback mm -hmm. uh items for them is you know hey can we can we bring back some cool road specific detail i mean you know i mean they're already putting like those you know five whistles and and uh five uh bells in each new legacy set now mm -hmm. so if you don't like the whistle well there's five op there's five available you know you know mm -hmm. per that whatever that whatever that uh specific model had at one point you know what i think though i feel like we're gonna get a little teaser of that because the new big boys they got the road specific crew talk in them it's the same file that they use for the vision line uh, big boy but it's still really cool to know that it's even there i have the line master big boy and um it does not have road specific but the um the tower com is the standard tower com guy but the crew talk is actually not even a tower com the crew talk on my line master are, are the are the guys in the actual engine talking to each other well that's cool 
Um, and it's very, it very, it's very cool. It's like, you know, um, you know, uh, Hey, you know, we got a, uh, how's that steam going or something like that. It's, it's actually, it's very, very cool. I'm really, ha- it was one of the surprised, the, one of the things that surprised me most, uh, with the line master, uh, big boy, um, is that little tiny little, um, sound detail that they put in there, which I thought was incredibly cool. So oh, yeah, yeah, maybe they are. Maybe they are starting to to put a little bit more uh, unique sounds in in a lot of these sets and kind of follow the, you know, the Lion Chief uh, sets um, that they've been doing for the last uh, few years. Would be nice. So, um, so we talked about like how you get in it. Um, like, let, let's talk a little bit about uh, cost, maybe a little because. Mm-hmm. Um, that's probably a big factor for folks, you know, let, let, let's be perfectly honest. If you're interested in Lionel or, um, O gauge model railroading, um, or even like any kind of model railroading, to be honest, it's yeah. kind of an expensive hobby, but you know what? I don't know if there are any other, I don't know if there are hobbies out there that aren't really that expensive or, you know, there, there's multiple tiers. I don't want people to think like you have to have a lot of money to get into O gauge railroading because you, you don't. don't. You don't. It's like any other hobby. You can start small and work your way up to the more premier versions of things, and that's perfectly, perfectly fine uh, mm-hmm. thing to do. Um, uh, as far as I know, like uh, most uh, Lion Chief sets, again, uh, start around the two hundred dollar, two hundred fifty dollar mark, and and then they go from there. Um. I think like I'm on, uh, I'm looking on train world site right now. And See, I'm online. I'm going to pull up one of their catalogs. We could probably cut it me... here. Yeah. So, Oh, th- that's actually another thing to bring up, man. That's actually a good thing to bring up because what you see on the Lionel's website is the MSRP. But if you yeah. go through, if you go through a really good dealer, um, you can get, you can definitely get a lower than that. Now here's, here's one thing actually. So I'm on the uh, train world website they have a Lionel Junction, Pennsylvania. This one's for you, Matt. Diesel <laughs> Lion Chief set for ninety nine dollars. No kidding. Yeah. Uh the Tom the Thomas the Tank the Thomas Lion Chief passenger set. So it's Thomas with two passenger cars. Um, one hundred and fifty bucks. No kidding. Yeah. Um, here's a Pennsylvania Flyer Lion Chief uh, 080 freight set with bluetooth 224 bucks no kidding yeah that, so these are uh, yeah the, these are not i mean again the I, i'm giving you like kind of the lower end of the scale but i mean there's one in here for a hundred dollars like you could barely buy an ho starter web starter kit for a hundred dollars that you know and this is a lion chief set like this engine kind of this it comes with seven curved 036 fast track um, it comes with uh, a diesel switcher. You know, it comes with a little little diesel switcher, a box car, a gondola, a bobber caboose, uh, the wall pack, and then the Lion Chief remote. Uh, it's got a whistle. It's got bell sounds. Uh, it's got I should say whistle. It's got a horn. Um, it's got a headlight. Um, it's you know, and, and you get three pieces of rolling stock, and you get track. This is this is a good deal. Sure. Heck. I might even get this, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and then to go on a little bit higher end of the spectrum in the most recent 2020 catalog, they have the Chesapeake and Ohio uh, land chief. set, which, which this is another fantastic set. So you get the engine, you get a box car, uh, hopper, um, coal car, a tank car and a caboose. And the retail on that is 400. Okay. I mean, it's really, you know, for what you're getting, it's a good price. And I don't know what the pre-order price is on this one, but, you know, it's really not that terrible as far as cost goes. And you don't have to make it, you know, like we were talking about eBay earlier. If you want to go on eBay and even just piece together your own train, you don't have to go buy something that's, you know, out of the box. If you want to go buy an engine and some cars and whatever you want, you know, piecemeal it. You can do that too. Whatever you want. Yep. Yeah. There's a lot of good sets on here. Like there's a, um, you know, there's, yeah, and, and the really good thing about Lionel is they, they put a lot of theme stuff out there. Like there's a Budweiser train. 
There's Christmas trains. There's a Hot Wheels trains, right? Uh, there's a Mickey Mouse celebration train. Uh, there's a New York Yankees uh, train, which I don't know why anybody would want to buy that. I know uh, I wouldn't want that, but <laughs> uh, we'll probably get banned uh, now. <laughs> yeah, uh, all all good jesting here, obviously. So I'm a Chicago guy, so um, I would definitely buy that White Sox train if they had it. <laughs> um, yeah, there's just there's so many cool little theme things, like something for like I think last year. Um, I don't know if it's still available. I don't see it on here, but. They had a uh, a Scooby Doo train. Yeah, that was that was cool. It had some really cool sounds. It had like authentic Scooby Doo sounds in it and stuff like that. I thought that was just like really really cool. They're they're definitely uh, putting out these Lion Chief sets with kids in mind, right? Definitely. So yeah, and you know, I mean, like yeah, the theme sets they're awesome because I mean, you get the announcements like a, like you said with the Scooby Doo. You got the guy that did Scooby Doo. He did the announcements. It's like you can't get any better than that. Yep. It's really, really cool. Yeah. Uh, hands off to Lionel for, uh, for putting out some really good, um, uh, starter sets out there for, for people to get into. Like I said, you know, there, um, you can, you can choose your entry level price. There are plenty of resources out there, um, um, to get into, you know, a lot of people I think are a little bit, um put off you know they're kind of like oh well you know you got to put track together and you know i don't want my kid to be you know there's electricity involved you know it could be dangerous it's not at all there's not enough voltage on the track um if you put your hand on the middle rail and you put your hand on the one of the outside rails there's no shock um you know you might feel a little bit of a hum uh but there's just there's not enough voltage going through the track to 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 do anything to, to it's safe for pets mm-hmm. children there's absolutely it is a very very safe the the power supply has circuit breakers in them um it's a extremely safe hobby uh even though it's plugged into the wall obviously you know take all the precautions for that i mean you know sure. anything you plug in the wall there's you know you have to be careful of but it's extremely extremely safe for kids um, I can tell you that I, I don't think I've, I'll be honest with you. I've been doing model railroading for, I don't know, long time. I I've never been shocked. So the only time I, the only thing you got to watch out for is if you've got a metal watch band or like a, uh, oh. zip on a sweatshirt or something. I've, I've had myself zapped a couple of times, but it's nothing, it's nothing serious. It's a little it's spark, just right? a little tingle. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> wake, wake you up in the morning. Oh yeah. <laughs> but no, it's not that bad. But you know, I really think that these days, with the advent of Lion Chief, that getting into model railroading could never be easier. I mean, it's literally plug the power power pack into the wall and put the train on the track. You're done. That's you're it, running, man. You know, that's it. It's it, it is literally easier to set up a, uh, a a Lion Chief starter set than probably like brand new TVs oh, or yeah. console gaming systems. Right there, there. There's literally no set up i mean if you use your i your bluetooth app you know even that it's just like it can detect that the train's there you push a button it's really really simple to do and um there are plenty of resources out there uh if you get um if you get stuck that you can um that you can contact and, and get help with so um are there any do you have any uh anything else you wanted to, to cover here matt no i i i can't think of anything can you uh, I can't. Any any closing thoughts? You know, I, I'm just going to go back to something I just got done saying. You know, these days, if you want to get into it, you got so many choices and so many options. The sky's the limit, really, as far as how big you want to go. If you want to stick with just, you know, a set around the tree or whatever, or if you want to go to, like, what Matt and I have is, you know, full-fledged model railroad, you can do that, too. Or if you're somewhere in between, whatever you want. I think it's a good way to put it. I don't really have anything else to, to kind of put on that except for, um, uh, you know, this is a fantastic um, hobby to get into. It is so fun. Um, you know, all kids love, you know, boys and girls. You know, I, I, I have a niece and a nephew that came over last Saturday. Um, and the first thing they walked in the door and they said, Uncle Matt, can we want to see the train, you know? And uh, that makes me feel good. Like, you know, I really enjoyed that. They love watching it go around. Um, 
uh, you know, they want to play with the little figures, <laughs> like, <laughs> but they're really respectful of it. And they, you know, and they're just, they like to watch it go around and they want to blow the horn and, and, uh, you know, it's just like, um, it's just a fan. It's just a really great hobby to get into for, for kids of like almost any age, you know, even like, you know, two or three year olds who they know what big trucks are, you know, oh, big truck, oh, big train, you know, even then, yeah, they can't use the controller, um, but maybe they can, maybe they can use the Lion Chief set controller, you know, maybe they can push the button that blows the horn, right? Sure. So it's just, it's, it's a great hobby for all ages. And, um, you know, Matt and I both just highly recommend this as a, even a, even a family oh, yeah. hobby to get into. So, Plus it teaches you a lot too. That is a very good point. It actually does. I've mm-hmm. learned a lot about just, um, the way the motors work, uh, uh, electrical wiring, you know, stuff like that. And like the history of each engine too. Right. Sure. So, all right. Well, uh, I think that wraps it up. Um, again, if you have any questions or comments, um, you know, please feel free. Uh, we are on iTunes. We are on uh, Google podcasts as well, uh, as well as Podbean. Um, please. Uh, we really appreciate any feedback, uh, um, especially any kind of, um, uh, feedback on iTunes uh, and on Google Podcasts, uh, just to kind of get our, uh, you know, to get our episodes out there and and get out to uh, a lot more resources, so people start listening. Uh, we're really happy uh, with our response so far and the people that have downloaded our podcast. Um, Matt, uh, where can people find you? They can find me on YouTube under Matt Dash Train Lover ninety nine forty three. I also have a Facebook page under the same name. All right, and I could be reached at West Chicago Railroad uh, on YouTube, and uh, I am still working on my Facebook page. I'm hoping to have that up soon. Uh, and uh, just wanted to say again, thank you to everybody for listening, uh, and uh, have a great day. Take care.